Good morning. I uh, hope everybody out there is doing well. Uh, if you hear some loud commotion or a lot of fun noises and really cool music, uh, don't worry. It is our Silver Fit class. They're just uh, they're they're doing what they normally do on a Tuesday morning. So, uh, what I want to talk to you about today is one of the things that we think is is really important to us um, here at the Trouble School of Fitness, and that is the uh, sickness wellness fitness continuum, and really how everything that we measure can be uh, put on this continuum. That's your overall kind of perspective on your uh, current health situation. So this continuum looks like this. We theorize that every um, every marker that you have um, that we can objectively kind of quantify in terms of uh, maybe it's your body composition or your percent body fat or uh, how long it takes you to walk two miles, um, bone density, so forth and so on, can be uh, well ordered on this continuum. So over here we have sick or pathological. Right here we have well. And over here we have fit so every different measure whether it's uh, percent body fat whether it's your uh, resting heart rate your blood pressure whether it's your uh, bone density so forth and so on can be well ordered on this continuum so um, if you're well if your your percent body fat is well within the normal uh, range is great the uh, the super fit the abnormal fit those folks they're gonna see much lower percent body fat on the other end here sick if you're upwards of uh, 30 40 50 percent body fat that is pathological we need some type of medical intervention um, to take care of that and then eventually um, get you back to the wellness state now what does that have to do with what we do it's our contention that if you start getting in kind of these ranges right here um, a little bit, you know, not necessarily at elite athleticism, elite fitness, but somewhere around this range that if and when you do get sick, if and when, let's say that uh, you get your blood pressure, blood pressure and your resting heart rate um, and your all your blood profiles, they're, they're looking good. They're in this range right here. Well, what happens if you go on vacation for two weeks and you're eating all kinds of bad food, you're drinking a lot, you're not really taking care of your body, disordered sleep, well, let's say that you kind of go from here to here and then you're sitting here in this well, um, the, the well state. What fitness is, what fitness is and what we're looking for right here is a hedge against sickness. If you're over here, you have to get back to well before you get back to sick. So it's kind of like a bank account. You want to put, if you're going to spend in the future and you know that you may go into a spending kind of you know it happens from time to time we spend a little bit too much well if you've saved up enough you know on the front end then you're not going to necessarily go in the debt it's the same thing here so the takeaway here is why is fitness important fitness import is important for a number of reasons one of which is because fitness is a hedge against sickness uh, hopefully this video helps and uh, happy training everybody have a great day bye